So Python is a general purpose programming language. It's used in many fields. Some standouts include data science, automation, data visualization, web development, and many others. And today we're going to be going over the very basics of Python. So I'm in an application called Visual Studio Code, and that's basically how I run my Python code. But if you don't want to install anything, you can just go to a website called replit.com, make an account, and run Python just like that. So let's just get started with the basics. So assuming that you can run Python, here is, let, let's start with the first program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show something to the terminal. So the way we do this is we just say print and then any message here. So I'm just going to say hello. And this is common the first, uh, commonly the first program for most programmers. So let's run this and when we, and sorry, and then when we run it, we should get the words hello world. Now this is obviously a very small scale program and today we're going to be doing some stuff just like this inside the terminal. But when you, when you learn more Python, when you learn more programming, you can expand to either the web, data science, and do all this fun stuff. But these are the principles that it's built upon. Okay, next, let's talk about user input. So let's say you want to get some sort of value from the user. We can use input for that. So what we could do is we could say, uh, we could say name equals to input. What is your name? So the way this works is I have a variable and you can think of variables like boxes that store information. Okay, and I'm making this variable equal to an input and this input is asking what is your name so if we run this then we'll get what is your name and if i say neil program will end but now what we can do is we can use what we just learned print and we can print this name out because we can just print the variable out and if we do that then we can say what is your name neil and it'll print my name out so that's something that's really cool in terms of python but in terms of printing, we can do a few separate stuff with printing. So we can do, use something called an F string. And what this allows us to do is have variables inside of, uh, inside of print statements. So uh, what we can do is we can say your name is, and as long as we have that F in front of it, if we do this, we can include, uh, we can include our, um, our name. So let's say we run this, then it says, what is your name, Neil? Your name is Neil. So that's just some cool stuff we can do with that. But with just this knowledge alone, we can build a very basic calculator app. So we could say num, num1 equals input. And here we want a number. So we're going to do something called int input. And this just specifies that we want an integer or a number. So we can just say, enter your first number. And then we can just copy and paste that num2, so that second, and then we can just print f, and then we could just say, your numbers added together are, and then now, just as we explained, we can put a variable inside of a print statement, num1 plus num2. So if we do that, then we can, uh, and let me just run this Python file again, enter your first number two, enter your second number three, your numbers added together are five. And we can do the same thing with multiplication. Um, applied uh, three, three, nine, right? And now this brings us to a really pivotal concept, concept which is if statements. And what if statements allow us to do is to check um, to check if something is true. So for example, what we could do is we could say another thing called operation equals input. And here we could just say, enter your operation. As in, enter whether you want to add, multiply, divide, etc. And we could say, and we're using input here, not int input, because we're getting a string value, not, in, not a number. Right, so we're going to say if operation is equal equal to uh, addition or add, we'll just say add for now. We're going to print num1 plus num2. And then we're going to say, so this is just checking, like, is the operation storage unit basically equal to add? So what we can do now is we can just have another block that says if this isn't true, L. If this isn't true, 
but this if is true operation equals and we're doing equals equals to instead of equals to because one equals to assigns something to a storage unit or a variable and then equals equals to checks so we can say sub and i'm just going to name it this right now print num1 minus num2 and we can just do the same thing uh, div for divide and then we can do the same thing right here for multiply and obviously these have different names but i'm just making this all for now and then we can also have an else statement so if none of these are true then else invalid option and with that we've built a very very basic calculator so let's say two two and let's say my operation is add boom and let's say we do four five mole 20 right and let's say we do five one uh divide five and then if we do um which one haven't we done yet uh six oops let me do that again six six and then i just say uh sub i think i haven't done yet yeah subtraction but now let's do something interesting let's go five or four five and let's say invalid option so like that we can just use if statements else statements print statements and input statements and that's just what we've covered for now and these are really powerful and these are just the basics of python that will carry you very far so I just want to cover one last thing before we end this, and that is comments. Now, comments are very, very useful. All they do is they just have the code ignore it. So I can make a comment saying with a hashtag, and I can just say hi. When I run this, Python's interpreter or Python in general will just ignore this completely. So it doesn't affect anything. Now, you might be asking why this is useful at all. Well, we can write little messages to ourselves in the future. So, for example, we could say something like, the code for a calculator. And let's say we want multi-line comments. We can have three strings. We could do it like this. And we could say, hey. And then if we run this, it just doesn't affect the program at all. And that's just the basics of Python for you. Thank you guys for watching, um, and bye.